All right, all right, all right. What is up, everybody? This is TK with Comic Insider. And you know what? We're going to be here talking today a little bit about the movie Tremors. And this is episode uh, six, actually. Episode six of Comic Insider. Graboids. That's right. We're going to be talking about Tremors, the movie. If you've never seen this from the 90s, get on the game, dude. This is the sixth installment in the movie. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to be talking about Tremors 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and yes, all the way leading up to Tremor 6, A Cold Day in Hell, which takes place in the Arctic. That's the whole trip of the movie. Graboids from the Tremor series. They've always been desert-based creatures. So let's get right into this. Because this has blown my mind. I just got done watching it. Great movie. It came out today on Blu-ray, but you know what? You want to get your butt up to the store. It also actually got released on Netflix too, so let's get right into this. And kick off episode six of Comic Insider Graboids. Like and subscribe. Welcome to perfection, Nevada. Land of opportunity. You know how close I am to leaving this place right now? How close? Where a man can make a clean living. See, we plan ahead. That way we don't do anything right now. Oh, explain it to me. Hey, Bendy. What's the count? It's a boring. Yeah, it starts off a little boring. It's like, what is this? Under the sun. You start to think, the ground, what the hell kind of movie is this? And then boom. Giant pure words in town. Isn't life just great? Kind of a funny thing that two trailer, you know, the town in the trailer, and this is the original trailer from the 90s. Kind of a funny thing the town is called Perfection, right? Perfection Town. And, uh, oh my god, look at this. This valley is just one long smorgasbord. That is a trip. So these things are pretty much giant freaking three historic words. With freaking snakes on top. They can't see. They can hear. That's right, they go off of seismic activity. Which, I mean, come on, that's pretty scary. It's like a land shark from hell. So. Let's get back into this. Like I said, like and subscribe if you uh, watch this channel for laughs or if you really want to take us seriously because we have all the best movie trivia information, comic information, but uh, we get wacky with everything. So, let's get right back to this. Kevin Bacon, Wicked People Magazine, Fred Ward. That dude also uh, supports us on Inch. The sequel, Tremors 2. Oh. What a trip, what a trip, what a trip. So, right now, if you haven't seen that movie, you know. It's early 90s was the first one, second one was late 90s, early 2000s for the third, uh, fourth was also like early mid 2000s, I think it was like 2004 or 5 or something like that, don't quote me on that. Then you get to 5, which is, uh, that story was of the origin, and the crazy thing was, instead of being in the middle of the Nevada desert, this was the one movie that took it over uh, to Africa. It was Part of Africa, uh, the origin of the the graboids. Well, this is a little bit scary. See, the beginning of the newer movie, Trimmer Six, Cold Day, you know, Cold Day in Hell. Uh, the crazy thing about it is, you start to think that this is um, an evolved graboid, but it's not. This thing was frozen in ice. They say in the storyline, pretty much before these things all went to uh, desert areas. So before they migrated, they find the scene, one of them's trapped in the ice, and you know what? I'm going to show you all the new current trailer, bring you all up to date, because this is getting crazy. This is, you know, Northern Canada is where the newest movie, Cold Day in Hell from Tremors, takes place, and uh, yeah, it's in the Arctic. The last place you would ever think a Tremors movie would happen, but they did it, so let's get... Right into this. Right, right in. You from the government? 
<laughs> Bert always paranoid as hell. Ass blasters in the Arctic? Ass blasters in the Arctic? And Boyd Canyon Arctic Research Station. If you got ass blasters, you got graboids. You have graboids. It's pretty crazy so far, so yeah. Also, if you've seen the fifth movie, Bert's son is back as well. So, Bert Gummel and family taking on a bunch of prehistoric giant worms with snakes for tongues. So, uh, yeah, I would hate to have that as a real life threat on our planet. Imagine just be walking out in the middle of nowhere and one of those things and they, they hunt underground, so they just pop up out of the ground. You don't see that thing coming. Let's get right back to this. This is such a great movie. Like I said, I just got done watching it earlier today, and, uh, wow. I mean, the whole, they kick it up a notch. They made it a little bit more fun, a little bit more wacky. Bert's more paranoid than ever. And, uh, crazy thing is, uh, he pretty much gets put out of commission. Not, no, don't worry. No spoilers. Wrong. No, he doesn't die. Uh, so he gets, uh, apparently he starts having this problem, uh, you know, and nobody knew what it was at first, but apparently he's being neurologically affected by being poisoned from one of the Graboids. I don't know if you all remember the third installment in the movie where he got ate by a Graboid, and uh, his buddies had to come saw him out with a chainsaw. <laughs> it was it's crazy. Dude gets eaten by a giant worm and lives, but uh, no, apparently that uh, got some of that nasty stuff in his blood that's affected him. He's going from one minute of being a badass to collapsing and passing out, and his son has to take over. So let's see how this gets in. Maybe we'll show it in the trailer. But check it out on Netflix. So it just came out today. Look at the size of that, man! Tablespoons of cement and she said, right? the hell up, huh? The only thing I gotta say that I'm not a fan of uh, on this one thing in this movie, like the storyline, all of it's accurate, all of it's great. Ass blasters, though. I don't know if you've seen the current, like the the current last movie, and then the one now. If you do, check it out. But if you've seen like. The third installment where they, you know, the winged versions of the Graboids, their third phase into their life cycle, uh, they call them Ass Blasters, yes, I'm not joking, that's their real name. So, uh, you can see in the third movie, I mean, they still have the, you know, the big old talons coming out of their face, but uh, if you go back and you just saw the clip I showed, um, I think they've evolved a little bit more because it looks like just a like a cracked mouth with a bunch of razors. Like, oh my god, that's terrifying. Let's get back to this. Damn. A cold day in hell. How do you not die? You never die. How do you not die? You never die. First. So let us know what you think of it. It is, you know, you gotta check this movie out. I mean, if you are a horror movie fan, or if you're just a crazy sci-fi fan of just... Oh, hold up, hold up. Oh yeah, look at that. New Infinity War poster, yeah. Now, speaking of Infinity War, um, I'm going to lay out a list for y'all. A little bit of a schedule for this week before we end this episode. So tomorrow, we got... Uh, I'm going to be doing episode of... Half of the Flash and of Supergirl. And don't worry, I'm not going to do no torture y'all with the musical episode again. We're going to be go talking about the up to date of Rain Purity and Pestilence from Supergirl. They're all together now, causing havoc. People are being poisoned throughout the city. Just like, it's crazy. Uh, then we're going to go into and talk about the thinker of the you know new episode of the Flash. And don't worry, it's not over because that's going to be tomorrow's episode. And then we got coming out. I want to wait till Friday on this one. Uh, we're going to do an episode on the Green Arrow on Friday, hence Green Arrow hat. Oliver Queen's tearing it up, and Tully's back and all that, but uh, no, I'm going to save that for the episode, don't worry. I just want to get more caught up on the show, it's been crazy trying to run this channel. Um, so, but also the main answer you want, you know, main question you want answered, 
when in the hell are you going to put out the uh, Infinity War, you know, episode? Well, I've got good news and bad news. The good news and the bad news is... Look, uh, I uh, ordered some props for wanting to do the episode. Yes, Thor jacket and all. So, I wanted to... It's going to you know, take a week or so for those to get in from Amazon. Plus, uh, mainly, it gives all of you people time to go see the movie. I mean, there's people that want to, you know, put out these episodes like that. I get it. Do it for the fans. That's we, why we all do this, because we're fans ourselves. Um, but, no. So, that being said, I'm. it's going to be another week. Probably, I would say, you know, not this coming up next Tuesday, but the one after, before I get this, you know, the Infinity War episode out. And I'm sorry that that takes, you know, it's going to take so long. But like I said, I want to make sure all you fans get a chance to go see it in theaters. Have your heart broken, or, you know, broken, because uh, yeah, you, you guys better be prepared to be tore up when you see uh, a movie. It's great. I'm not going to give you any spoilers now. But all right, so let me know what you think. Uh, check out this Tremors movie, um, Cold Day in Hell. This is the sixth installment to the you know the franchise, and I hope they keep coming out with these movies. And, you know, if you can't make it to the store, you don't have to. If you got Netflix, like I said, they released it directly to Netflix. Just like direct, you know, the Blu-ray. But, uh, personally, I would like to go buy the Blu-ray. Netflix is just easier to watch it on. Um, but, yeah, so we got a good handful more of episodes coming out this week. Like I said, Flash, Supergirl, Arrow. Um... And I'm sorry that y'all are going to have to wait for that Infinity War episode, but, uh, less than two weeks. So, deal with it. But, I just had to get the trailer out for this, or the, uh, show y'all a little bit about Tremors, because this is one of my favorite movies, uh, growing up. I mean, when I was a little kid, my uncle, uh, you know, we went to see this movie, and it was awesome. I've been a fan of this franchise ever since. So, uh, you know what? Check it out. Like and subscribe on Comic Insider. Uh, we are on YouTube, Facebook. We're going to be on Twitch soon. Uh, on our Facebook, I think it's like at, you know, the little A circle thing, the at Comic Insider. But, uh, you know, like I said, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch. Uh, y'all have a great evening. Love life. Take it easy. And uh, it's always fun chilling with y'all. I got to say, this like these videos are like the highlight of my day. As a fan, getting to talk about things that are coming out, and also, uh, keep in mind, before I also put out, uh, the Infinity War episode in just two weeks, a little bit less than two weeks, uh, I'm also going to be putting out, uh, maybe this weekend, or maybe it might me take as long as next week, I want to wait for the other trailer to come out for Ant-Man vs. the Wasp, so keep your eyes peeled for that, and this is TK with Comic Insider, love life, take it easy.